How's it going guys? So today I'm going to be talking about my coming out story. Um, as you can tell by the title. Um, I came out in high school, well my senior year. The reason I say come out is because at that point I didn't really care who knew or at that point I decided that if people were to ask me if I was, I will tell them, but I'm not I wasn't going to make a big deal about it. Like I didn't I don't feel the need to have to come out to people. It just feels like I'm not the normal. So so that's how like I was kind of thinking about it at that po at that point in time. But I did come out to a couple of my friends. Don't know my family. Oh yeah, actually one was a family member. She was my cousin. Uh but she's a I mean, she's lesbian, so she was pretty cool with it. She didn't really react any certain way. She supported me, and I mean, she told me she still loved me, and she still supports me. Um, obviously, because <laughs> if she didn't, that would've been kind of weird. But, um, so, then I told, I think it was about three other friends. One was my best friend. I told her at the time. Uh, she was completely shocked, but then she got over it. She thought it was pretty cool I guess whatever GBF or whatever I've never told anybody this I haven't even told her this so if she's watching this it'll be kind of awkward so at the time my cousin the one that I came out to told me that this Ryan came up to her <clears throat> and told her hey I think Manny likes me and she's told she told her like no nah, I don't think he, he likes you but then she was kind of adamant about it and she was like no he doesn't like you so then she told me that so i was like oh that's kind of awkward you know so like i went out with, to dinner with her one day and i told her because i was like first of all you're my best friend so i want you to know and second of all i really kind of wanted to straighten that out you know like that's kind of awkward well awkward tension um and then i told my guy best friend at the time uh, it was, I think it was his birthday that I told him, uh, we took him out to dinner, and then I dropped him off, and then I told him that day, I told him, hey bro, I mean, I'm still the same person, you know, like, we've been friends, we've literally been friends since, like, elementary school, so, but he was super cool about it, he accepted me, and everything, but turns out that the friend from, the, the second friend that I came out to, the one that had a crush on me, or thought I had a crush on her, she came out, she told him that I came out to her, and neither of them know that I knew about it, and if they're gonna watch this, they're gonna know now, but yeah, I knew the whole time, so. <laughs> but other than that, I didn't really come out to anybody else, not any family or anything. Um, I just stopped caring, I stopped hiding who I was and started acting how I wanted to act and if people questioned it then I told them so my mom she found out um, it was a day of we had pride pride parade I dressed in rainbow posted the picture on Instagram and the next day she very awkwardly she awkwardly asked me if I was and I asked her am I what and she's like I just want to know if you are I'm like well what do you mean am am what and she's like i just want to know because i don't want to be surprised it was awkward the whole situation was like super awkward so i'm like if you mean am i open-minded then yes and then like that i just walked out the room so it was like awkward because it was just awkward silence so then, like a couple minutes later she comes in the room awkwardly this whole situation is just awkward but it's cute because she's actually trying to trying to show me that she was okay with it. So she came in asking if I had a boyfriend or if I was talking to anybody. And I just told her no, like nothing going on right now. So, but I appreciate it. Cause she was, that was her way of kind of trying to make me feel like she was okay with it. And she was, and she's, I love both my parents for that. My dad, uh, he was living in Mexico at the time and it was like, feel like it was like a week later. He found out, I don't know. I, at that point, I didn't care who knew. Like if people found out, they asked around. I didn't care, I wasn't really paying attention to any, what anybody said. 
um, but my dad, he called me and we were just talking and he just, and then I don't know where he said, I know, you know I love you, right? You know that I don't care who you are, who you like, that you always be my son and I always love you and basically their main concern was that they didn't want me to be hurt or have to deal with all the bad that comes with you know being LGBT or having to you know listen to all the ignorant people so that's the, that was their only concern mainly so that's why I say it's my coming out story because I didn't really come out come out to everybody I just came out to the people who I felt needed to know and then the rest of the people I just didn't really you know I am what I am like I like who I like and my first boyfriend I guess is when how everybody found out cuz I would post them all over social media so uh, nobody really had a problem with it at least nobody told it to my face so I guess I'm very fortunate that people were okay with it and even if they did talk anything if they did say anything I never heard it like it never reached my ears so that's good a lot of people don't have it as good as I did and I know some friends who've had it way worse and I'm very fortunate to have the parents I do and to have the friends that I have like I love all of them so much for that my advice to anybody who is trying to come out or has came out not easy it's not easy for anybody because there's always that risk of those people who you're gonna lose of people who are gonna treat you differently I mean they are because they're gonna look at you different but it's not necessarily gonna be in a bad way stay positive about it know that people love you I love you like the community loves you like keep on going don't give up so please keep on being yourself keep on acting however you want to act regardless of the stares just be safe and love one another and let the hate stop with you please comment like subscribe for any future videos any future content that you guys want to see and hear about q and a's uh, but just make sure you subscribe and hit that like button for more videos next week see you guys